Hi Stampers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Nancy Novak. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and all this week I am featuring the Everyday Details Bundle, which is this sweet little stamp set with these outlined images and really nice sentiments with really cool font and it coordinates with these dies. Now these dies will go with any stamp set but they happen to be in this bundle um, and it has these sweet little detailed dotted borders. So when you cut them out, you have circles, rectangles, these fun little shapes and the little crisscross. And when you cut them out, they have all that little dotted border, which is really unique on your card. And today's card is focusing mainly on these dies. But I told you we're going to use all three of the images this week. And today we're going to use the bird's nest. And we're also going to be using a different coloring technique. Um, yesterday we used the Wink of Stella pen. And today we're going to use watercolor pencils. So let me show you today's card. So as you can see, we're going to use a lot of the dies. We're going to watercolor in the images. And we're going to use a couple of the die cuts from the Stippled Roses bundle. Um, and I'm going to show you a new technique, a little hack on how to use your dies when you have very intricate cutouts. So make sure you stay tuned for that because it's very helpful. <laughs> I found it very helpful anyway. So let me show you yesterday's card. This was a drapery fold technique that we did right here. And then we colored in the flower and the leaves and the teacup using the Wink Estella pen. But today we're going to do watercolor pencils. So let me bring in the supplies. So I'm using Early Espresso as my base. It's eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. For the front, I have a piece of basic white and then I cut out a circle. There's many circles, so I cut out, I'm gonna show you how we do it when we get into it and which dies I used. But this one here, we're gonna stamp directly on that with the bird's nest stamp. And then I cut two of these little stitch circles out, one in Azure Afternoon and one in white. And then, of course, we're going to use this die right here. And let me bring in the circle dies again. Let me show these to you. Okay, so these are the dies that we're going to be using today. We're going to use the crisscross die. We're going to use this big circle die. And all of these dies have that pretty detailed dotted border. We're going to use this little stitched die. This one we used yesterday. And that leaves us with this one, which we're going to use today. And when we get to that, I'll show you exactly what it looks like when we do the cutout. So let me put these off to the side. And don't worry about the sizes. I will tell you what circles. I'll tell you the like the largest circle, or I'll tell you the, the inch, the uh, measurement of the circle. And that'll be on my project sheet. You can find my project sheets on my blog, stampandshout.blogspot.com. You can go directly there, or there is a link in the description down below this video. Let's do a little stamping first. So I'll bring that circle in and the little stitched edge circle. So I'm going to stamp in Pebbled Path. I could stamp in Early Espresso, but Pebble Path is newer and I want to use that. I'm anxious to use that as much as possible. Now you could, of course, stamp this and then cut it out. But I am going to do it opposite just because I like to have all my die cuts done ahead of time when I'm doing my videos. So look at how pretty that font is. It's really fun. <laughs> OK, then on this one, we're going to bring in Memento Black ink and I'm going to stamp the bird's nest right on there. So I am going to use my watercolor pencils to color these in and I have balmy blue, old olive and early espresso. So I'm going to go ahead and color the eggs in balmy blue. And I'm going to color the leaves in with the old olive. And then I'm going to color the nest in with the early espresso. But the magic doesn't happen until we do the next step on these watercolored images. Now all these little twigs I'm just going to outline. A 
Okay, so now I'm bringing in my Wink of Stella. You could use just a regular old paintbrush, but I'm going to use the Wink of Stella. I stamped this on regular basic paper. The Wink of Stella is not as wet as when you use water, so you don't have to use watercolor paper in this example. But now watch the magic. I'm just going to bring a scrap in and clean my brush off so it doesn't have the blue on there anymore. And then I'll go ahead and do the leaves. And then the bird's nest. So this Wink of Stella is just blending all of those coloring strokes together, kind of like your blending pens. And it's also giving it a pretty little sheen. There you go. Looks really, really pretty. Oh, a little bit of brown right here. Clean your brush off and it's ready for your next project. Easy. Okay, so I'm going to bring this piece in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my crisscross die on each side. And I'm just looking to see if I can make it look even from the top and the bottom. And if I put the X at the top, it fits just perfectly at the bottom. It kind of makes it look like it's even. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and cut that one out. And I will be right back. I'm going to bring my machine in and show you this because I'm going to be showing you the next couple of steps with my machine out. So might as well show you this too. So I just went ahead and I lined it up right on the edge, kind of close to the edge. I put a little piece of uh, post-it note tape there, hold it in place. And now I'll sandwich it and just run that through. So that's what it looks like so far. And now I'm going to bring in this great big circle and I'm going to center that and I'm going to run that through the machine. Okay, so that die cuts a great big circle just like that. And you'll see how we're going to put it together on our card in just a moment. Okay, so here's my tip for when you're die cutting delicate little dies. So I went ahead and I cut a few of these out earlier and then I had trouble and it was sticking and just not coming out right and everything like that. So I want to show you this great little tip because we're going to cut out a few sprigs from the stippled roses die set. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my dies down with the cutting side up and lay a piece of parchment paper, not wax paper, but parchment paper right over the top. And then I'm going to lay my piece of cardstock right on top of that. So now I'm going to sandwich that and run it through the machine. Okay, so my dies basically are just falling right out. I'll give it a little bit of a poke with my paper snips. Once you get a part that's free, it basically just pops right out. And there's that parchment paper and it just peels right off. Now wax paper is a little bit stickier, so it will stick in your die and you'll have to kind of really clean out your die. But that whole piece came right out just like that. Here's our other one. There's that parchment paper. So it comes right out. So now very quick and easy. There's nothing left in my dies. So I thought that was really a fun little tip to share with you guys. Okay, let's bring everything back in and we'll put it all together. First thing I'm going to do is glue this piece onto our card base. So I'm just going to put glue wherever there are no dots. And then I'm going to glue this piece back in. And you can see how that early espresso pops through those little detailed dies. It looks really cool. And we'll bring this piece in and we'll pop that up on dimensionals. And then these two pieces we're going to glue together, but we're going to offset it just a little bit. And that's going to go right there. So I'm just going to glue that down. Okay, now I'm going to glue our sprigs and they're going to fit right underneath that popped up bird's nest image.
I kind of tested out where this was going to go because this is popped up on dimensional, so I want to make sure it fit underneath okay. I'm just putting a dot of glue on all the different on all the little leaves. Okay, now I'm going to bring our ribbon in. This is a Jour Afternoon ribbon. This comes in a pack of three. It has uh, Jour Afternoon, Lemon Lolly, and Bubble Bubble Bath. So I'm just going to tie a little bow here. Okay, Everyday Detail Stamp Set with those fun dies. We really used a lot of the dies today. I really wanted to give you an idea of how they look and how to use them. And then we watercolored in our image. And then we put a little bit of the two circles, one behind each other, kind of set it off. And we used those pretty stippled roses dies. And we used parchment paper to make them pop out easier. So go ahead and leave me some comments. And if you love these cards and videos, don't keep it a secret. Share my link and name with your friends. Your support helps my channel grow, and I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you for spending some time with me. I'll be back Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.